So one of the things we have to deal with now that we're working inside of Java is uh, we're dealing with a two-dimensional plane. Uh, and so we have to kind of revisit geometry for a second. And so if we take a look, this is our traditional Cartesian plane. So uh, traditional Cartesian plane, you know, created by Descartes years ago, just, just years ago, decades ago, de decades ago. But the main focus I want to point out is sort of my positive numbers are on the left, my positive numbers are on the top, my negative numbers on the, well, oh sorry, my negative numbers are on the left, so negative one, positive numbers are on the right, negative numbers are on the bottom. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, positive one, positive two, positive three, two, three. So that's how our traditional Cartesian plane works. Here's the problem. This is not how the computer operates. Let's think about this for a second. Permit me to remove some stuff. If we thought about sort of how uh, the screen works, the if we think about if you've ever recorded a video, it kind of does this. If you ever recorded a video on a screen, it does this kind of motion over and over again. You can see this line that just kind of appears over and over again. What's happening is it's refreshing, meaning every single kind of time you see that happen, it's going through and redrawing the pixels on the screen. Now it's doing it really fast, and so it's like a helicopter spin. You know, helicopter's going really fast, but oh, look at that. I can make out the propeller going around. Same kind of thing's going on. As it goes through, it says, oh, I need to make everything over here, redraw, move to the next line. Everything here, redraw, move to the next line. Everything here, move, boom, 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 boom. Then go back to the top, do it again. This is actually where we get the idea of Hertz. So if your computer or your monitor, TV, whatever, if you, it ever says six, 120 Hertz, what it's saying is how many times does it reprint itself every second? But that's a tangent. I need to deal with the fact that this, even though it's traditional, is not correct in Java sense. We actually now work off something called well, another style of coordinate system. The same kind of process goes on here, but everything is flipped. So my X and Y now, instead of it being uh, this as my positive side, and this being my negative side, this is now my positive side, this is now my negative side. So this, for example, is positive one. This is positive two. This is positive three. Now my x's, they don't change. So this is still uh, one, this is still two, this is still three. But it is something we have to be aware of, especially when we get into our GUI. Again, this, you notice when we ran it, we never changed where my button located. So it still appears only right here. So what do I have to do? Well, in that case, I actually need to add a few other adjustments. Just like you see, I have set title, set scene, show for primary stage. My button actually has a few methods of its own. And if I reference BT and OK, dot, you see I get a slew of them. And if I do set, what I'm actually going to look for is something called set layout X. Now what? Set layout X does is if it's not set, if you don't ever put something in there, it by default is zero. So top left or top left. Now, if I specify and say I'm gonna go with, oh, uh, it's gonna be a uh, hundred. It's gonna be a hundred pixels to the right. Well, as you can imagine, I have one. If I have a set layout X, I have a set layout Y. And this time, instead of it being a uh, hundred, I'm gonna say that it goes only uh, 30 pixels down. Again, down, not up, down. And when I run this, what we're gonna see is now exactly that. My button moved 100 pixels over here and then 30 pixels down, starting here, drawing outward. So that allows me to now kind of add in another one. Well, what would happen? Oh, add in another one. That seems like an interesting thing. What if I made another button? All right, well, if I made another button, 
I'm gonna call this one, okay. Cancel. Cancel. And I'm gonna do the exact same song and dance that I did with button, but I'm gonna flip things around. I'm gonna change it from 130 to 30, 100. And then down here, just like I did BTN OK, I'm gonna change this from BTN, or I'm gonna change this from add to add all. Notice what I get here. I get this option of adding in more than one element. And I'm gonna say uh, BTN OK, comma, BTN cancel. And what this is going to do is this is going to get added, this is going to get added, and when we take a look at this, what we should see is two buttons now on my screen. I now have one here and one here.